Good morning! Halika, magkapi tayo! Welcome to the morning coffee with Father Jerry. <clears throat> Our text for today is from the Gospel of St. Luke chapter 9 verses 7 to 9. It says, Now he rode the tetriarch, heard about all that was going on. And he was perplexed because some were saying that John had been raised from the dead, and others that Elijah had appeared, and still others that one of the prophets of long ago had come back to life. But Herod said, I beheaded John. Who then is this I hear such things about? And he tried to see him. Thus far is the reading for today's Gospel Reflection. What is it for us? What is God's message for us through this text just read for today? Who is this about whom I hear such things? There are things in our past that returns to us today and haunts us. Just when our life is crystal clear and everything seems to be in its proper place, they just pop up and disturb our an easy peace. For when we have no many skeletons in our closet, we can never enjoy true peace in our life. Let's take a look at hero in today's gospel. John comes back to spook him. It is not really John, but actually it's Jesus. In Herod's mind, it was John, but in reality, it was the Lord. It is not the objective reality that presents itself, but his secret guilt he has been carrying in his mind for the past years. That is why he has to see Jesus in person. He needs to reassure himself that John is truly dead and buried. For the meantime, he will live a life, a life of insecurity. His evil ways will always be before him. Perhaps it is really true that there is no rest for those who are guilty or having a guilty conscience. Stretching a little bit our gospel today, Herod had heard stories about Jesus' preaching throughout Judea. He also had heard of how Jesus he healed people with a touch and the power of his word. Herod was perplexed, and he did not know what to make of this man, Jesus. Many people claim that Jesus was John the Baptist, raised back from the dead. Others said, Elijah has appeared. And others stated that one of the prophets of old has risen. When Herod heard these claims, he said, I already beheaded John. Who is this man? The whole city is talking. 
about. Herod was very curious about this man, and he was anxious to learn more about him. Our challenge. King Herod had respected and feared John the Baptist as a great prophet and a servant of God. John, however, did not fear to blame and rebuke Herod for his adulterous relationship. Herod, out of impulse and a desire to please his family and friends, had John beheaded. Now his conscience is pricked when he hears that some think that John the Baptist has risen or has come back to life. So he rode, sought to see Jesus out of curiosity and fear that out of a sincere desire to know God and his word. Whom do you seek to please? God's grace frees us from the tyranny of fear and sin and, enable, and enables us to reject what is wrong and to choose what is good. Do you allow his grace to fill you with faith? and courage to speak what is true and to do what is right. While we do not live in the same period of time as Hero and Jesus, we can turn to the New Testament to get a glimpse into Jesus' life. What fascinates you about Jesus, we may ask, if you could sit down silently with Jesus, what would you ask from him? What would you ask from Jesus to be healed from you? So today, take some time to talk to Jesus. Ask him anything you would like. But more importantly, talk to him. Ask him for that healing of your memories, healing of your guilty conscience. Ask Jesus to heal you from your past memories, especially those bitterness in your past that linger on from time to time. Most especially those experiences in your past that you cannot just let go until today because you're having a guilty conscience. Ask Jesus to heal you and to touch you today. He will never fail you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, form in me the likeness of your Son and deepen his life within me that I may be like him in word and in deed. Increase my eagerness to do your will and help me to know the saving power of your love. We ask this in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Okay, so paano ito kapatid? Don't forget to finish your coffee. Thank you. Once again, magandang buhay sa ating lahat. And may God bless us all. See you tomorrow.